yo what's up guys yeah thank you guys like i promise i say if you reach 500 subscribers i'm going to um sell out our strategy <laughs> i'm going to share my strategy to you guys how i trade boom and crash right that happens to be my favorite strategy so guys thank you uh, for liking sharing and subscribing to our to our channel right so for so your support i'm going to uh show you how i actually trade uh, boom and crash how i take spikes right but uh, what I'll tell you, it's not um, that small, right? It's actually a course on Boomer Crash, right? So I'll share or I'll give you the introduction to Boomer Crash, right? But that introduction will actually enable you to actually trade and make money on Boom and Crash, right? So let me just uh, go straight to it, right? But before I actually go straight to it, um, this is the platform that we actually use with this uh, WhatsApp group that we use, right? This is where I send some of my analysis, some of the trades that I'll be taking there right on booming crash and other currencies me and nash uh, my partner right so you can as well uh, follow the link that i will share in the uh, description uh, below you can follow that link and join our whatsapp groups then we also have this telegram channel we will also post our what our analysis some trades that will be taking you know, those things uh, that we have right also, if I'm to share some indicators, some strategies of using this platform, right? So if you want to be part of us, you can as well join those platforms so that it will be easy for you to get everything, every update that we give to people, right? Okay, so let's uh, go to Metadata 5 and let's uh, start to learn about Boom and Crash, right? Okay, so what uh, happens is on Boom and Crash, I only trade the four Boom and Crash. Crash 500, Boom 500, Crash 1000, Crash boom 1000 right i don't trade the 300s right so what i'm going to share goes in line with those four only right okay so let me go straight to it so if you get to a boom and crash chart the first thing that you have to look at right is the daily time frame is the daily time frame right just for boom and crash you go to the daily time frame right we build our strategy on momentum based on momentum right the simple thing is or the concept is right if the previous day was a bearish candle we assume that today it has to close as a bearish candle as well right for example if we are here right this day actually closed closed bearish right it means today we have opportunities to sell what you're looking for is for a corrective move then you begin to sell right then you begin to drop so we saw this one closed bearish right if this one closes bearish this one has to close bearish as well right so we are building on the previous day's momentum that's the first rule to what i'm going to teach you today right this is what you have to understand right if you get to crash beat crash 500 crash 1000 and you see the previous day candle it was bullish it was bullish like this right you don't consider it for that day you remove it from your watch list right but if it is bearish on crashes then you consider it on your watch list right if you're on booms uh, for example it's a uh, boom 500 for example boom 500 like this all right let me just uh, go to the current position right this is where a uh, boom 500 is the previous day was actually bearish there is no way i'm going to look for buys if the previous day was a bearish market i'm just going to leave it right as you can see those who are trying to buy boom 500 for today they're actually losing they're losing their money why because the momentum is biased to the downside right but if i was bullish i was going to take buys right that's the first rule that's the rule number one right then rule number two we have what we call x line right remember we call sniper x right so i just I didn't found this concept or I didn't uh, create this, but these are tools that we just have on our MetaTrader 5, MetaTrader uh, 4, right? So I just had to call it because that's what I use, right? I called it X line, right? I called it to our name, Sniper X, right? So let me show you what the X line is. It's a simple thing, it's just a moving average, right? That we use, right? Okay, so to set these things, uh, this is the process that you have to uh, go through, right? The first thing you have to come on insert indicators. Then on oscillators, right, you put the RSI relative strength index, right, this one, right. Then you set it to period 14, apply to close, style, you put the color of your background. My background is white, so you put the color of your background, right. The way I'm setting it on the laptop is the same way that you set it on your Android phone or on your iPhone, right. You just uh, do those settings, right. Okay, this is all, right. On the levels and everything, sorry, on the levels, again, you come, you put 95, you put 5, you put 37, you put 63. How to add, you click this add. Then you add 37 and 63. These are the two important uh, levels that you're going to put. Then you say, okay, right? Then you have something like this, right? After this, you come on view. Then you go on navigator, right? Then on navigator, you look for a moving average, right? Moving average, you're going to uh, see it under trend, right? This is another indicator, under trend. 
put it this way the way i'm doing it and if it is on my phone then you're just going to use that simple way right then you go on on the moving average then you drag it from this position you come you drop it here right so if you drop it to your rsi section right then you set the parameters one period 32 right method simple right then you apply to previous indicator that make sure you apply it to this previous indicator data then the style you just put a black color that if that is if your background is white like mine right then the shift is going to be zero right hope it's simple like that then the levels don't mind every other thing just set it like this make sure here you put it as a previous indicator on the previous indicator data right why i put it there if you look at other strategies that you're going to see on youtube or with other guys who give them strategies right if you zoom in your chart like this right this moving average is going to shift its location its position it's going to shift right but if you set it like this like what i have done it doesn't shift where it is it will remain the way that you zoom on it's stationary on that very point so if you're going to build a strategy based on this the concept or the signals they don't repeat right if it is there that's where it is right whether you zoom in or you zoom out it remains there that's why you put it like that right okay so we're done setting everything that we want to set on our chart right so basically this is a price action concept this is a price action concept right so this is rule number two right so this is what we call the x line this moving average inside this rsi set to the previous indicator that's what we call the x line right so if i'm saying x line you have to know what i'm talking about right then the next thing and the last thing right like i've said we just use price action that's what we use right so this concept works on m5 right so you go straight to the five minute time frame right five minute time frame and remember what i said on your chart to make things easy for yourself right you just put period separators right why period separators right if you look at this very point this is uh, where yesterday actually started from right then this is where uh, yesterday ended right so this tells you that the previous day was actually bearish so on boom 500 i'm not going to be doing anything i'm not going to be doing anything i'm going to leave this thing out right so let's look for a position where the previous day was bullish right then we start to do our analysis from there right okay uh, let me look for a point like that uh, I need not to see uh, a clear one with a signal that i want okay okay let me just go to to today right let's let me go to today right on crash 500 right? this trade if you look in our channel whatsapp groups and the telegram group right i've just sent screenshots of the trades that i've taken today crash 500 and crash 1000 right so on crash 500 the previous day was bearish as simple as that right so from the daily time frame where i'm going is to the m5 time frame because i know already that my previous day was what was bearish right then i place uh, that in the, that template, right? I created a template for my crash right? with those settings that I had shown you, right? Okay. So the second thing that we are going to do there is just a price action concept, right? You are going to draw your trend line, a symbol trend line, right? Right from the bottom, like that. Just draw a trend line, right? So what happens is, right? Remember structure. Remember structure that I always talk about. The other concepts that I always teach, right? Me, I trade with structure. I always follow structure. So what we are looking here is something like this. Price is going to create a low. It's going to push, right? Then it's going to break this low. Then it's going to retest, coming back, returning to origin or returning to the order block. Then we're going to what? To drop, right? So if you look at this structure, you realize that it was creating these points. So these points, we are just connecting them with the what? With the trend line, right? So what we are looking for, why we are using trend line, for those who don't look, who don't know structure, who don't follow the lower lows, lower highs, you are not able to follow those things. You're just going to look at the trend line. You just put a trend line like that, right? Then you wait for price to break this thing. When it breaks this thing, now you look for zones where to enter in these regions, right? This pattern is more like a head and shoulder, right? So around this region, you behave some order blocks. Then you mark those order blocks. When price retest this this zone, you take your cells. As simple as that. That's what you're going to do, right? But you'll be following the steps that I'm showing you. This is why I'm putting a trend line. Hope I've explained it quite well. Let me remove this. I'm done with this, right? Okay. So in this case, I've tied the first point, second point. I'm waiting. Price broke this. So the moment price broke that, if you look... On my screenshots in the telegram group and in the whatsapp group you realize that my entry is sitting right here right 
So price, what he did there, I have sniper entries that are right at that point, right? So I have seen this guy, right? So I didn't explain the X line. Let me explain the X line. So the X line, how it works, you wait for the X line to move into the region 63, right? Then you have to wait again until this X line moves below region 63. When it starts to move below, if you zoom, you see clearly it's now below, right? It's now below. So when it's below, that's when you put your trend line like that. You wait for price to retest. You wait for price to retest your trend line, retest the order block. Then you start placing your orders there, right? So this signal that we get, get at that very point, I anticipate that this thing should drop all the way down and close the day as a bearish candlestick on the daily time frame. So what I'm talking about is this, right? On the daily time, it might fail, right? But all I'm talking about, I'm saying on the daily time frame, I actually expect this uh, whole, this whole candlestick to close, be as simple as that, right? If you look to the previous day, this is what I used on the previous days. That's all, that's everything, right? So let me get back to my M5, then I will start it, right? So this signal is done just like this, right? This is how I trade uh, spikes, boom, and crash. Right. Hope the concept is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Right. So let's look on the previous day. Yesterday, how would catch these uh, spikes? Right. So the previous day, it opened here, it closed there. So it was a bearish close here. Right. So on this day, how do you trade? You just wait the whole day. Wait up to and until your X line comes above zone 63. When it moves above 63, you don't enter there. Wait until it leaves that zone it starts to leave guys you have to be patient with this concept don't introduce your own rules to this thing you burn you burn i tell you right just follow what i'm telling you what i'm teaching you here right so here uh you have to be to be to be to be flexible right so here you put your first layer of a trend line this way it is right then you put you can put a second layer right i won't be teaching on trend lines because um but anyway there are layers and trend lines, right? The second layer, if you come on this uh, very point, right? All we are focusing after this break. So on this very point, we are seeing that the low that it created there, right? Because the moment this thing moves down, right? We put our trend line closer to that very point, right? So this thing is down, it is confirmed. What we are left with is the trend line, right? So the trend line now and price broke it here. They broke that zone there. Then what's next? It's just a retest to that very point, right? Then you take your cells at that very point. So it means this was just a first layer of the trend line. We didn't use this. You put a second layer of the trend line, right? You look for the second point, mostly where it actually moves out of this zone. Because this is what we're looking at, right? The retest of that trend line, the retest of the zone or the order blocks that are in this region, right? If you look at this structure, well, you realize that there is a law there. Price was creating lows and highs like that, right? Right. I want to show you that uh, it's just structure, right? But it's structure uh, that is uh, that went to university. <laughs> structure that way. Uh, this thing is failing to be straight. Okay, like that, right? So this thing actually broke this law. They broke this law. Now they are retesting, like that, right? So it's just structure that you know, the common structure that you know, right? So this was about yesterday, right? So you hold this trade for the whole day. Boom! You make money for the whole day, right? So this is what I'm using. This is what I use. Like I said, um, uh, selling out uh, Sniper X. That is our empire, right? Okay, let me go on Crash 1000, the one that I went in earlier on. Okay, so this was on Crash 1000, right? Same thing, right? The first thing you look on the daily candle. The previous day, right? It had opened there. It had opened here. Then it closed there. So if you go on the daily time frame, you see that this candle, this whole day, it was bearish, right? So condition number one met. Condition number two, you look at the X line. X line is in this region. You don't sell the moment it gets above this zone. No, above 37. Above 63, sorry. You wait. The moment it starts to go below 63, there. That's when you place your trend line, your first layer like that, right? You see, it actually confirmed there, but we didn't actually, uh, we hadn't, uh, moved below this zone so you wait for price to move below that zone right so first condition daily met second condition the layer of the trend line broken third condition the rsi now is now below right so the moment it goes below then you are just looking for a supply and demand look at that order block if you look at my screenshot for the trade that i actually took this is where i'm sitting i just use that order block then i snipe that entry and i'm holding the whole of the day right 
Usually what I do, I end up with big loads. I close partials the moment I am satisfied, then I just leave a runner. If you look at my screenshots, there is a runner with a load size number two, right? And I'm holding that one, right? So let me just scroll back and show you some of the examples and many examples that we have, right? If you look at this very day, it closed bearish, closed bearish, condition number one met, condition number two wait for the X line goes above. The moment it's going below, right? You draw your trend line. So your trend line, it was there. Then the retest now, right? Then you just project your supply and demand zones, right? If you mark, it was somewhere here. This is your supply zone. Retest of the supply zone, retest of the trend line. You take your sniper entrance there, then you slide down, right? Because this day was bearish. Every condition was made there. Then you hold for the whole day. You make your money, right? On this day, this day it had opened here and it closed there. So it was a bearish daily candle. So we can trade on this day. You wait, price moves above this zone. The moment it's moving below this zone, it was around this region. That's the X line condition. The daily one condition was made, right? Then the trend line condition, you put your trend line, it wasn't broken anywhere there. So we wait for the trend line to be broken. The moment it's broken there, the retest of this zone, guys, this is your sniper. And on this very uh, five minute order block or supply zone, then you hold for the whole day and you make money, right? So these are a whole lot of examples that I was just trying to explain the same concept. If you go below, you back test, you see how this concept really works works and makes you money right many people wonder how i actually snipe um in boom and crash guys this is what i use very very simple right like i've said this is just the introduction to the boom and crash courses that i actually teach people right but this is actually the best hope you've heard people talking about the x line and everything this is the x line this is how you use it it's very simple and straightforward for boom and crash booms buying crash selling we don't trade ticks i just trade spikes right then if you want more for content now on how to actually uh catch uh, the individual spikes pose a strategy for that catch the individual spikes maybe you have uh, missed the very sniper entrance right at the top how do you join into the trend uh that is now for the uh vip vip uh platforms right it's now for my students right so this is the concept hope it's very very clear to everyone right guys uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe, right? So I think I'll have to end here. Hopefully, I'll see some good results. Hopefully, this concept will be profitable to you, right? You can use it right for your, from your phone or from your laptop, right? Thank you guys for your time. See you next time. Sure.